Columbus. He's 13 and 0 since with 12 knockouts, including a second round TKO over the aforementioned Peter Venancio, his lone common opponent with Jobby who beat Venancio on points. Ferdy seeing the obvious height and reach advantages is his best bet to uh, establish the jab, try to keep to the outside versus a tough inside fighter like Joppy. No, he's got to be on, on the outside. If he gets on the inside, Joppy will break him in two. Guy looks like a basketball player. If he can take a punishment, the kind of punishment that Joppy administers to the midsection, if he can take that, it, it'll surprise me. Yeah, Joppy says he doesn't train any differently uh, for tall fighters. Just try to stay on the inside, do what he always does, get in and out fast with sharp combinations. All right, here is two-time world champion William Joppy. Off the tougher-than-expected decision over relatively unknown Fernando Luis Zuniga, a last-minute replacement for Rubel Cava, who had the, uh, the bout with tonsillitis. Zuniga made Joppy earn his money that night under the Reed Trinidad card, but Joppy pretty much controlled throughout. Just didn't, didn't expect to go the distance with him. Joppy recaptured the, the title from Julio Cesar Green after losing a controversial decision, fighting one-handed most of the way, you recall, with a damaged right hand. In an unnecessary third fight, Choppy stopped Green in the seventh. Says he's 100% since the fractured vertebra from the car accident that happened to his neck. And despite talking frequently about future opponents, Choppy says he's not taking Rubalcaba lightly. Bobby, is he just too good an experience for Mr. Rubalcaba? You know, Steve, on paper, Joppy certainly appears to be the talent. And although his experience in a number of fights is very slim over that of Rubalcaba, he has the quality in competition. His opposition has been much better. But styles make fights. Rubalcaba stands six foot three, good power, and also good conditioning. If his chin holds up and he doesn't get broken in half to the body, I think he can make this a terrific war. Well, nothing wrong with adding a W. I'm just not so sure what it means when it's over a Rito Rubalcaba. All right, let's check the, the numbers, which actually favor uh, the challenger. Ruval Kaba, four years younger than Joppy, the big five-inch height advantage for Ruval Kaba. At yesterday's weigh-in, both below the 160 limit. But check out the fight time weights. Joppy, 168, that's a plus 10 and three quarters. And Ruval Kaba, 160, a plus four and a quarter. And a four-inch reach advantage for uh, Ruval Kaba. Key rules, no standing eight. The three knockdown rule is in effect. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the final round. If an accidental butt occurs before the end of the fourth, it's a technical draw. If it happens after the end of round four they go to the cards well after that first fight what could happen next here at the grand casino event center in tunica we're getting ready for our main event the wba middleweight championship let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer the classy jimmy lennon jr ladies and gentlemen a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the grand casino in tunica mississippi for our featured bout of the evening brought to you by don king productions in association with showtime championship boxing this bout coming away is sanctioned by the world boxing association the president Alberto mendoza supervisor in attendance alberto samaniego along with the mississippi state athletic commission the chairman is billy lyons commissioner fred Ingelis. introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside from destrahan louisiana elmo adolf from sackville nova scotia canada hubert earl and from d'iberville mississippi david toronto introducing to you our referee in charge the third man of the ring working in this his 27th world title bout Fred Steinwinder the third all right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Grand Casino Tunica, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, fighting out of and representing Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. His weight, 155 and three quarter pounds, 
with a record of 27 wins, two losses. He has 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his first attempt at a world title, introducing the WBA number one ranked middleweight contender. Here is Rito El Relampago Rubalcaba. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing brown trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Seabrook, Maryland. He weighed in at 157 and one quarter pounds. His record stands at 29 wins, one loss, one draw, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-time and current WBA middleweight champion of the world, Introducing William Jumpy. Once again, a referee in charge, Fred Stein, Winder the third, now to give instructions. Come on, corner, man, y'all back up a little bit. Here you go, William. Here you go, Rito. Rito, he's a little bit high. Look, this is a championship fight. Look, this is a world championship fight. Y'all both act like world champions. The trunks is a little bit high. Listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Come out fight. Good luck. William Joppy, a complete fighter. He can box inside and out. Usually starts out pretty fast, and he comes straight ahead. An excellent boxer with very, very fast hands and a quick, accurate jab. Watch out for the big, snappy right hand. That's his power punch. The thin, rangy Rito Rufalcaba will look to utilize his big height and reach advantages, but he's more than willing to mix it up as well. Not overly fluid or quick, but improving and tough. The question is, does he have the experience to handle the slick, world-class Mr. Joppy? Joppy told us he'll, he'll stay on the inside against the 6-3 Ruble Kaba, jump in and out, use quick combinations, and the fight will not go 12. Ruble. Here you saw Joppy jump in with a nice left hook, timed Ruble Kaba, but Ruble Kaba showing a reasonable chin. It wasn't a big hook, but it was a smart little stinger. And Ruble Kaba said he wanted to start fast and take Joppy out before four rounds. Expects to establish the jab, uses range, fight aggressively from the outside. She has a shorter fighter, Joppy doesn't want to be being pushed back too often. Rubokov as a taller fighter, could get his leverage, maximize his leverage and his distance and range if he's coming forward. Going back, he'll lessen all his power. That's what Joppy needs to do. Back him up, work the body, back him up. And on top of everything, Rubokava hasn't fought in about nine months because of the flu and tonsillitis. He's had to put off three fights. Says he's feeling 100% though for tonight. Oh, nice right hand. has got him in trouble already. Here's a beautiful right hand by Joppy, and here it is. Ruble Cup is in trouble. Buckled in half. Joppy looking to end it here. Don't push him, William. Don't push him, William. Joppy really loading up with that right. Rubikava's eyes are not right. I can see in his eyes. He's not clear in it right now. He got clipped and everything short circuited his body. Oh, another heavy right hand by Joppy. He is right on the edge of a cliff. He can't let go because he's going to get killed if he does. Joppy looking for his sixth first round knockout. I'll tell you what, Rubikava's in trouble right now. Oh, man. Look at this. Rubikava hanging on to Fred Steinwander the third. And it's all over. It's over. It's all over here in the first round. Well, I told you, if he didn't have the chin to stand up to Joppy's right hand, maybe it's nothing. He has a lot of tools, but not the chin. You need to be durable at this level. Boy, that chin was something else. That punch was a banger. He's still not walking right, right guys. He can't make it to the corner without help. Well, he got banged real hard, not only once, but many times by that right hand. Joppy would not at all want to fight the second round. He just went in there for a first round knockout and got it. William Joppy made a statement. Well, we said he's the best middleweight going right now. I believe he is. I believe a fight with Keith Holmes is imperative. What he really needs is a defining fight. If he get with Trinidad, that would be something. Well, I think a fight with him and Joppy is even better still. Excuse me, not Joppy. Joppy and 
uh, Bernard Hopkins. I think the executioner still got a, a couple of good days left for sure. You know, I think you you were saying in the conversation a minute ago, well, what was a year ago we were saying Hopkins was the best, and all of a sudden he disappears. Well, he, he hasn't been Steve as active. Been Steve Alberts today. Oh, well, Steve. That's all right, Gil. <laughs> I didn't make it all the way <laughs> Well, I asked Joppy what's Ruble Cabba's biggest fault that he'll capitalize on before the fight. He said signing the contract, and he was right. <laughs> he was right. I hate guys that can write comedy better than me. Unbelievable. Well, I think it was Bobby. You said that uh, Joppy uh, made a statement. He may have made a statement, but he beat Rito Ruvalcaba. Who is Rito Ruvalcaba? He's the number one contender, but who is he? Well, him being the number one contender is obviously all relative. We talked about sanctioning by his promoters, agendas, yep. and the mixing and matching of ratings in an arbitrary fashion, or at least what seems to be well, an arbitrary fashion. Perhaps the word is preposterous that he's the number one contender. Yuri Ruvalcaba's can punch. Stop Ruvalcaba. And five. We talked about that. If he's got the chin, and he shows that he did not have the chin. See, Jobby works him behind a jab, and that clean right hand starts it. And there's another right hand. That little one off the top of the head wasn't the big one, but there's another one that almost bends him in half. He throws a really, there it is, almost bends him in half with it. And you can see that Rubakaba on those long and thin legs was very shaky. Again, that right hand just landing home. Legs are not under him. He's trying to hold on. Maybe Joppy getting a little too anxious there, but he has nothing to worry about. There's another big right hand. And the end of the fight is upon us. The right hand lands. He holds and he tries to hold hard. He really does not want to let go. And you'll see at the end when he gets hit with right hand, he winds up grabbing the referee and trying to climb up the referee to keep from hitting the floor. That landed flush on the forehead, and he's in trouble. That one on the jaw, and you can see now the ropes are holding him up. Now watch him hold up. See, he keeps, he, he climbs up the referee to keep from hitting the floor face down, and he needed help there even. He almost hits the ground again as we look at it one more time. The ropes are holding him up here. That right hand was it. He goes through the ropes. Nothing, his head just ripping back there. There's nothing in his legs. Ropes holding him up. Referee saw enough. And I think clearly so. He can't stand here. He's, he's literally leaning on the referee. And as time went by, he needed to be walked two or three minutes later to the corner by two men, Steve. Yep. He was out on his feet. Sometimes that long, lanky range does not make you a Bob Foster. Yep. Joppy improves to 31-1 and one with 23 knockouts. And uh, will boxing finally settle once for all the question, who is the best middleweight in the world today? Is it Joppy, Bernard Hopkins, Keith Holmes? Joppy makes it abundantly clear he wants WBC champ Keith Holmes, his uh, arch rival from the Maryland area, or IBF champ Bernard Hopkins. He'll fight David Reed if he moves up to 160. The same goes for Felix Trinidad, he says. Any of those fights, terrific fights.